pretty sure this isn't the best lighting ever, but what's going on? Um, it's me, Derp. Um, today is Tuesday, and Kaylee and I couldn't get together again because of numerous things. Um, she had to drive her sister to the doctor. I had to drive because I needed to get my freeway hours. But, um, we're going to do it in halves again, and hopefully next week she and I can actually get together and do it. And I still have summer school, and that's like my second to last day, so I might not even be there. But, um, this week's topic was like, um, our first LGBT crushes and or, you know, dating. And for me, it was kind of... Sorry, I was checking if it was actually on. It was kind of awkward, because... My first girlfriend wasn't even really a girlfriend. We were both just kind of like experimenting off of each other. And, um... Yeah. But, um... I know I've said this before in a video, but I can honestly say without a doubt Farrah Fawcett was the person that made me realize how gay I was. Or by... By I was. But I... I kind of saw Farrah Fawcett on Charlie's Angels when I was younger, and I was like, Damn, Farrah! <laughs> and Catwoman. I don't know. I think... It was just... Boobies. <laughs> I know those stories aren't really fascinating, but, um... It's kind of how it's going. And I know we had a question, and I have to look on Facebook, because Kaylee sent it to me. Ah! Do I want to have children? Someday I want to have one, and there will only be one. And, uh, because I, I've said this in videos before too, I cannot imagine more than one thing the size of a watermelon coming out of there. <laughs> so, that's about it. Um, maybe two, if I change my mind someday. But, um, that's it for me this week. Stay gay. I know this is really horrible. I mean, I'm pretty sure Kaylee's side is going to be more interesting and not as dark. But I'm just trying to work on a bunch of things. I'm doing a new collaboration with my friend Brandy that she started. It's called The Jabber Talkie. We haven't really officially, officially started it, but the channel's up. So go over there and check it out once we have videos up. Um, again, stay gay. And I love you guys. Bye. Hi, Rainbow Gang viewers. Um, once again, me and Bree can't vlog together because we've both gotten busy, and so yeah, I'm really tired and I need sleep, so this is my second take of this, this video because the first time it was 11 minutes long because I kept rambling <laughs> and doing stupid shit, so I'm going to try to keep this short. So our topic for this week is, I forgot our topic, oh wait. <laughs> Our topic is our first um, same-sex crush and, and or relationship, um, and I think I had my first crush on a girl when I was in, like, third grade. It was my best friend, Angel, and, um, one time when we were having a slumber party, I tried to kiss her and it, it didn't work out well because she, she freaked out and it just, it wasn't good. Then my first, um, I had my first girlfriend when I was in eighth grade, and it was with my best friend who, my my old best friend from middle school, um, who also turned out to be straight, so there you go, that's my track record, I'm <laughs> just kidding, um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about her, I don't, I don't like talking about her, talking to her, being around her, it's just bad, we had a really, um, we had a really toxic relationship after we broke up for the first time, um, she broke up with me for my best guy friend who was already in a relationship and didn't want anything to do with her. And then later they started screwing around, but you know, never mind that. I went on a rant about this, so I'm going to keep it short. Discrimination between the, like, uh, between, between, or in the discrimination within the LGBT community, especially against um, trans people and bisexuals, I think that that is bullshit. That's the worst thing that we can do. It adversely affects our cause. If we want to be treated equally, then we can't just go and break up our community further and say, like, if we're trying to say we are all the same, we all have the same emotions, we all deserve to be treated the same way by the government and society, then we can't just go within our own community 
and say, you're different because of this you should be treated differently and discriminated against because of this. Like, that's just hypocritical and it's BS. I really, I think I would need more context for this to answer it, like, fully, but if it's relevant to the conversation, like, if it's not relevant, then there's really, um, no point in being anything other than just trying to be civil as long as the person is being civil towards you. If it is relevant to the conversation and they're being like really negative or like nasty about it, then I would just just speak your mind. Just tell them how you feel. There's no, there's really no sense in like trying to start a huge fight or an argument or calling them names or anything because that doesn't really get anywhere. But if you're just upfront and honest about what you think and how you feel, then they can go shove their hate parade somewhere else. One more thing, I forgot to answer the question, um, do you want to have kids? I definitely do. Um, I just don't want to physically actually have them. I feel like me and Brie have gone over this already, but, um, yeah. I love kids and I want to have, like, a lot, because I've grown up having a big family, not necessarily brothers and sisters, but, um, but cousins and stuff, so yeah, I do. And I would be, I would be up to adoption too, um, if the person that I end up marrying doesn't want to actually physically give birth to kids either. Like either way, I don't know.